Hey guys, what's going on? Ken with Geekology. And today I have a special but unusual uh, sort of unboxing and tell about um, the Emerald Legacy Power Air Fryer 360. Um, I bought this pretty much for my wife for Christmas. And I bought the smaller Power Air Fryer 360 originally for her it was on sale at uh, Kohl's and for like about 120 which is actually uh, about 80 to 100 dollars off the retail price that it usually goes for this one usually goes for um, about 200 and this is the same model but it's the XL so this is the Emerald Lagasse Power Air Fryer 360 XL. And this one runs for about $299. The major difference between the two is, of course, the size, as you can see. I didn't see any uh, like kind of like side-by-side -side comparison or even the difference between the two, like on the YouTube after doing some research. So for anybody that was just interested in um, purchasing either or the two, um, I kind of want to put this out there for you guys because these are really good um, air fryers um, according to uh, certain uh, websites that do, do reviews but uh, no one really had a comparison between the two and even the Emerald website does not talk about the um, the difference between the two and like I said there's nothing really the difference this air fryer um, the smaller one can hold, uh, has an area within it of, uh, what was it? I think it was 890. And this is double that coming in at, uh, I want to say 1950 as far as, um, what you can put it in. I'll go ahead and put footnotes in the YouTube video exactly how much each one contains, uh, can each one, um, each one could hold pretty much so to say so i'm not gonna fire these up and the only reason why is because um i mean they do the same thing as you can see they're side by side they're both the same air fryers i mean the same buttons on each one um see same buttons if i fire it up the menus are going to be the same no difference it's just one can hold just more stuff well this might this is supposed to the smaller one's supposed to hold a uh, rotisserie or even maybe a smaller turkey this one can hold maybe a bigger rotisserie and maybe a bigger turkey so i would say this is more for a larger family and of maybe three plus or whatever maybe four or five plus and this one's for like maybe a single person or just a husband wife boyfriend girlfriend that type of thing um so my wife and i since we you know we don't have a family we're just gonna go with the smaller one we're gonna keep the smaller one and i'm going to uh take this one back but i definitely just wanted to just show everybody um the difference <clears throat> and this is the the smaller box right here this is for the smaller the box right here is for the uh smaller the, just a regular 360 not the XL but this is what it comes with both of them will come with the the drip tray the pizza rack the baking pan and the crisper tray and a rotisserie um, spinner so you can put your rotisserie in there and spin it um, they both do the same thing of course like I said the air fryer rotisserie dehydrator and more and um basically i think we had ordered this one from costco they had a special in it uh, like i said regular um regular price of these we usually run for 299 and this is going to run for 199 um and based on like just the holiday sales when i got it at the time uh, this one was at about 120 this was at 159 that's at, i mean before tax of course tax may vary depending where you at 
Um, <clears throat> let me see. As far as tray wise goes, let's try something here that might be. I'm assuming inside the box, of course, you have your your stuff. Um, keep in mind, like I said, I already took it out. But excuse, I'm gonna move. I'm going to see if this this is the rack that belongs to here. Of course, it will not fit. There, see, it falls straight down because it's not the correct length. So that means it's probably about a, as you can see there, trying to get maybe more of a full, um, maybe an inch or two off. Okay, now of course it's gonna fit in here perfectly. See the slides on and the groove, so that's, that's what you get. And of course, and you can have all the racks and depending on your drip pan goes down there and pretty much covers the, um, the heat elements there. So, okay, that's good to know. I'm pretty sure somebody would like to know that. Now, the cool thing, the difference, uh, it may be cool to some, I mean, some people may not care, but I do prefer the top of this one. It looks more, where well, this is like a black or gunmetal, whatever you may call it, more of a black. Um, this, of course, over here is a stainless steel top for the, uh, just the regular 360. So the XL is black all the way around the trim of course oh and then the handles too i'm sorry that is a difference right there with the handle okay as you can see the handle and the pull down on that just slightly different where this handle with the stainless steel grip of course a smaller area of the glass okay but you know as you can see everything is still the same as far as the buttons there buttons there i'm gonna go around let's scan the back let's see yeah, no major difference. Like a little bumper here. So bump the wall right there. And this one has two. A bigger, it has a bigger back, of course, but it's two bumpers there. And then your ventilation with the cord. Ventilation on the small 360. And the cord there. Okay. So, like, yeah, the top is different, like I said. And we're going to keep this one, but I would have preferred if it had that top and everything else. But, hey, it, it, is, what it, it is what it is. Um, beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> so, definitely, guys, I um, hope uh, this is going to be helpful for somebody out there trying to know, uh, want to know the difference between the two other than the size and stuff. And just want to put up an informative video. And one more thing there is a another air fryer um i've seen it at walmart um it's a another emerald legacy uh, power air fryer but this one is the power air fryer uh 360 plus um i'm gonna put a picture of that one and on that one it is the same size as the 360 but uh, the buttons are totally different. Like instead of the knobs that you have on that one, you actually have just all buttons and they're not like, uh, you know, out like this. See how that, when you press it, those make that noise. The other ones is more like a flush microwave panel. It's more, um, just your touch and those types. So the, the panel is different. And then I say, I will post a picture of it in the video. Um, so you guys can kind of see that and like i said i think it does the same thing there's no big difference um that one is the same area as far as on the inside um it comes with the same trays as the uh just a regular air fryer 360 but i don't know if that was if they did that because of just the they found a um maybe an issue with these or maybe People just preferred the push panels or something. I mean, I don't know if it was like ergonomically um, better for some people instead of the knobs. Um, they just found it to be better just to do the push panel. So that's the only difference is the, the front panel 
on that one and maybe aesthetically I don't know if it's gonna have a different well it is a different color because I know on that other one you know you can see in the picture where the panel is like darker and stuff like that but I do not know what kind of finish it has maybe you can tell from the picture maybe someone else has a uh, um, I didn't see any videos on it but maybe someone else will have like a picture or will post a video on it sooner or later so anyway guys that's it I'm gonna wrap this up um, and I hope you found this informative and if you have any questions let me know